All right, now we're gonna learn how to estimate the sums and differences of mixed numbers. To estimate, we'll always round to the nearest whole number. Okay, Alex has five cups of strawberries. He wants one and a six eighths cups of strawberries for a fruit salad and three and one half cups of strawberries for jam. Does Alex have enough strawberries to make both recipes? So we're looking at the problem, one and six eighths plus three and a half. Well, to do this problem, we want to round to estimate it, that is. So one and six eighths, we're, we're seeing it's closer to one or two. Now six eighths is greater than a half because four eighths is a half. So we're gonna estimate that to two. Now three and a half is exactly a half. So, but we're taught five and above, you give a shove. So if it's a, a half or above, we're gonna give a shove. So we're going to put four. Two plus four is six. And he has five cups. So in our estimation, remember we're estimating here, we're not giving the concrete example or the concrete answer. We're estimating. In our best estimate, we're saying he doesn't have enough. Now how can you use benchmark fractions, such as one-fourth, one-third, one-half, two-thirds, or three-fourths to estimate? We're gonna look at that right now. So, here we have a basic problem that you should have seen before, uh, 5 eighths minus 3 sixteenths. When we do this, we have to think about 5 eighths is that closest to a half or a fourth, or what is it closest to? And in this case, 5 eighths is really close to 4 eighths, which would give us a half. Okay, now with 3 sixteenths, that's closest to a fourth, because 4 sixteenths is a fourth. All right, we find our common denominators, which is four, so it's two fourths minus one fourth equals one fourth. All right, so that is estimating there. Now let's go into the mixed number portion. So we wanna think about this in whole numbers. So we have two and four tenths plus three and five eighths. Well, I'm gonna keep the two, and four tenths is awfully close to a half five tenths. And three and five eighths is also three and a half. So now, what I'm going to do first is I'm gonna add the, mix, the whole number, rather. Two and three is five. And then I'm, I'm going to keep my denominator the same since they're already the same. One plus one is two. So when I do this problem, I get five and two halves, which is equal to six because two halves is the same as one.